This week, we finish the epoxy artwork and hang the pantry barn doors. Garen and Ellie brace for the summer heat, and Bryson shares his first large aquaponics harvest. About ready to finish up the epoxy by filling in now all the way to the top of our rim mm -hmm. and protect our design, make it a little thicker. So I'm gonna do some Posca pen highlights on these here. I'm just gonna do some like like that maybe. I'm really excited to get this in. It's tinted a little yellow, which concerns me just a tad, but that's okay. They like adjusting the saturation bar on a photo. Yeah, crystal clear is what it says. Okay. So. Do you do you see what they've done to my room? Am I doing okay? Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, just you're keep okay. Oh, I hope it's enough, Bray. Well, we might have enough to do one door. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> How things turn out halfway decent around here, I will never know. End of this, I scooped it out and zipped it around that way. So, if you're just one big mess, I'm not too paranoid. That's my problem. Maybe I should be paranoid. <laughs> Whoa! Bryson, do we have any more? Bryson. Yes. Oh, no, the quirk. Oh, is this one gone now? Just Two. about. We greatly underestimate this stuff. We think it's gonna go forever and ever, amen, and it ends. It's a decoration. See how the spider is jumping on the leaf? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We have lots of bugs in our stuff. Animals, footprints, hairs. We get it all. You see the new additions I did to the little box? Those are cute. Thanks. You guys should wear gloves. That would help. I don't want to hear it, Kevin. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> wow, Bryce, you're getting all the bubbles out of it, too. We're going to need to run out and get quite a bit more resin. Unfortunately, we're under a time crunch. We can't order it online like what we'd like to. Last week when you were putting that on and we were getting desperate, we had to run down to the local hardware store and buy. I mean, do you think that was just like a quart? That wasn't very much. And it's I, real expensive. Less than a quart, probably. I don't know if this is going to last us, but here's our plan. We've already got a layer on the flower, so now we're going to put a layer on the hummingbird. That'll at least extend the period in which we need to pour, so. I am ready. I'm gonna cut this. That doesn't all fall through the crack. Oh, guys. That's not even gonna. Goodbye, $120. $130 after tax. Perfect. I'm rethinking that half inch right now. What about you, Bray? Let's order the rest online. We just needed to get the first layer here. We'll, have, we'll buy ourselves a little bit of time now. Okay, good, good, good. Get ready to set up the pool. Yay! Got a tractor to move some sand in. So we're gonna be able to get it nice and level this time. Feels so fancy. Me too. Diesel, come on, buddy. Come on, get run over. Let me move our kid. got a little turban. This is a wet blanket to keep her cool and she just like wraps herself in it. Yeah, you're so smart. You know how to keep yourself nice and cool, huh? We had a couple suggestions to do the footprints and we love that idea. So Garen and Ellie brought Azalea by. We have more epoxy to put on there now mm -hmm. and before we do that, we would go ahead and get those footprints. <laughs> Like your dad, you think? Yeah. Okay. Just wipe it off. Wipe it. Please. All right. The last time we did this, we were doing Bryson's little hand, and we had to pry his hands out because they were so together. And then we drip them in and drop it real quick, and it was just kind of splattered. But <laughs> he was pretty young, close to her age, probably. We do like this foot right here. You ready? Are you ready? Oh, okay. You have to have a guy here. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? What's happening? <laughs> you ready? Oh. 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 Oh.
Good you can have pink toes forever, yeah. kid. You got toe printed. I believe she did. That didn't even bother her. Yeah, let's get. Let's go to the sink. Yeah, let's go to the sink. We're gonna clean up. <laughs> <laughs> She's as good as gold. You're an amazing child. Did you get out of one? Look at her, she's just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't know about in between the toes because she's really curling them, but. Oh, sweetheart, you did so good. <laughs> yes. We gotta clean that up. It's so embarrassing. Yes, it is. To get the grass out, and then we're gonna get some sand, right? Yeah, I'll get a couple of the sand. Or should we mark it out so we know where to put the sand? Yeah. It's so big. And then the deck will come out over here. Yeah, the deck will fit like right in between these two and the fence. It'll be perfect, actually. I'm gonna go get some sand. Woo! I'm gonna try and find some good stuff. Sounds good. cocoon. We had some questions about what we feed our goats. So we thought we would just follow up on that. Everyone does things a little bit different when it comes to raising goats, but we feed ours pellets. We move to pellets because there's a lot of wasted hay. So we throw some corn in there sometimes. We throw some grain in there, some sweet feed in there. And then they also have a mineral block specifically designed for goats. And that's because last year when our goats were birthing, we got suggestions from several of you to get selenium in their diet to help with the birth of the babies, which we did. And thank you because we did have a really good goat birthing this year. They also have access to half a pasture. So they're always much on things and as the rains come and more green comes up then we won't even feed them here pretty soon so this is just through the winter so anyway so that's what we feed them sander shootle yeah I think we just wrap it up a little bit on the top don't we Bree? yep I think that's all we do this is what's so scary with this stuff as you can see this is all scratched up now but what happens is when they pour the epoxy, that's how it adheres one layer to the next. It can look a little scary, like that would be that bummer. looks a little <laughs> scary. We wouldn't be sanding if we were within that 24 hour period. We decided we like this one the best. We have the black, the pink, and the green. So this is the one. The black is just too obnoxious. And so that'll go on the bottom next to her feet. Brie will be putting that in. I like the top one better. Uh oh, you like the black? Not, don't look at the way yeah. everything's set. We're looking yeah. at colors. Yeah, yeah that's oh. the one I like the best. You know, the, the top colors. one is kind of nice. We're going to do it in the top. Okay. I told him that we'd already decided and that we were just going to see what he thought. And he thought wrong, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is the spelling, A-Z-A-L-E-A, -A -E -A, right? I sure hope so. Oh, we're going to have to change your name if it's wrong. <laughs> Bison's here too. Yay! Cute. Aww. Shoot us. I don't want to spill any food on it though. Oh, you're taking it off? Nope. No? Oh, I like that. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. Good job, Brie. Nothing like the fourth time. Okay, need a sound papa. Where do we want Brie? I'm thinking right here. Yep, agreed. I asked Brie to sign this. She wanted us all to sign it, but we really feel like it's her art piece that she designed, so we wanted her name. Perfect. That almost looks like a little butterfly. 
Oh, that's cute. I think leaves for the azalea flower. It's the idea, and I did it on her shoes. I've done it on everything for azalea. I think that every grandkid and child is gonna get their own little theme going on. Mm. <laughs> if I have any say in it, which I may not. <laughs> so cute. Off to the sandaroo now. Simply sanded. I'm gonna be so happy to have these done. Not that they haven't been fun to work on, a little bit scary at times. I'm just looking forward to when they're in the kitchen and in use. I, I like that all of us had a hand in making it beautiful. <laughs> so you sand them, now you're wiping it down. That way it's not filmy. And we got this one. Grace making sure everything's level again. Types have seen their day, but that's perfect. Yeah. They go into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing one layer tarp or do we double it? I think we probably just have enough to do one layer. Huh? Chunky one. Uh huh. It's really nice having the tractor to move dirt and level land. It's a whole lot easier with that. I mean, we've done it with shovels and rakes and wheelbarrows our whole life. And it's been really cool having that thing. Yeah, it's really funny. It gives it like that extra crisp look. You know, like you do it with shovels and rakes and stuff. There's always little weeds everywhere. And when you use the tractor, you can get it perfect. Yeah, it's a lot less work. Yeah, <laughs> and we're a little low CP. So. That was a little hard to set up, but not too bad, huh? Yeah, a little harder than first time. You think? I think so, just because we had some of the teas break because they got a little brittle. I think we're ready to get some water in there, huh? Yeah. You ready to get in the pool? Alrighty. Here we go. Going in. Ooh, that water's cold. <laughs> Ooh, that water is cold. Good, babe. Yeah, not too bad. It's perfect too. It's got some shade from this tree so that Azalea doesn't get too sunburned when she's swimming with us. Huh, kiddo. I'm attempting to grow some lettuce from seed to go in the aquaponics system. Let me show you what happened to all those seeds that I planted in there. Here's what happened to all the lettuce. All the way down to here. Really isn't much. Only a little. All the way down to here. Is that not the most lettuce you've seen? <laughs> I thought I was just planting a few of them. <laughs> So now I'm stuck with this lettuce. So we're gonna give some to Garen. <laughs> the way that I've been doing this system, rocks at the bottom with a little bit of dirt at the top. And then you can see that there's some rock wool there too. And I found that that works really well. I'm just gonna put them in here, pack some dirt around them, and that's how we'll travel with them to Garen's. We gotta get it online because the price difference. I was able to buy four gallons for like $160. Huge difference in price. This is actually what they do, believe it or not, when they show you how to just, do it. They're like, and if you spill, no big deal. Just coax it back in. And then you sand it off. You have it so that it's, it's sandable. The artwork is about a half inch, so if I had gone to a quarter, we would have saved half the cost. Plus, it just didn't need to be a half an inch. You don't know. You no. think you need a half inch for that artwork. If we'd have done it all over again, we'd make sure that we got everything online mm -hmm. as far as our epoxy, and then with a quarter inch, and that would have worked just fine, and mm -hmm. it would have been a little less and costly, and we would have got the same result. Yep. Easier, too. I would have had to have taken out less material. It took a long time to get that half inch out. So. Oh, right, because you had to drill all that yeah. out. Yeah, I had to use my router and router all that out. Drill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was hoping that when we put on the signatures it would look 3D because you could see behind them if you look down, but I did not think that they would create a shadow, which is pretty awesome. Very happy with that little happy accident. <laughs> well, I'm happy with the way everything turned out here so far. 
amazing. A lot of fun. Kind of takes art to another level for us. Yeah, for sure. And that's what we got left over. Still a little over a gallon left, so that's good. You good job, Bree. Thanks, good oh. job, Dad. Oh my gosh. We're gonna move this deck back over next to the pool like we had it last year. We're gonna Ooh. try the, the mower with the trailer method again, see how it goes. We have a long ways to move it because a big gate is way over here. So we have to go back over there and then around. So we'll see how it works. Yeah, gotta travel a little ways, but we'll get it. Yeah. Yeah. We need some bricks to prop that guy back up. We've got the deck all set up. Looks really good. We were actually able to use the old stairs off of our front porch for the deck, which is way nicer than that metal set. The metal set was super rickety. I'm gonna paint it. I know we painted it last year, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint it brown and red to match our theme that seems to be going on. Gotta check it out slow. Good boys. Yeah, the pool turned out really good. It's not perfectly level, but it is very close. It's very close. Much better than last year. Yeah, and the deck too looks it looks so much better than the white. Plus it matches everything, which is good if you like that kind of thing. Yeah. Which we do, so it's good. I'm really excited to have it from one of the summer that last year it was like ending of the summer before we got it up. And this year we're gonna have it through the heat of the summer, which is awesome. Just gotta give that water a little time to warm up. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cold. It's freezing. <laughs> I just dipped my toe in and decided not to. I dipped Azalea's in too. She did not care for that. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too cold. Next steps after this all dries is that we go ahead and pull the two doors where I'll do a little bit more sanding, kind of sand down some edges and corners and stuff and make it look like it's a little more polished finished. Polished finished. Ready for the stain a roof? Yeah, I got a couple more spots to hit, but yep, getting close to it. Give it a quick coat of stain and then I'll go ahead and cover it with some kind of clear finish. coat. Finish. Yeah, yeah, clear coat. Yeah, and then it's hand time. Yeah, then it's time to then mount our brackets and, and see how it goes. The result is absolutely stunning. I love it. It's unbelievable. Wow. You guys did such a lovely job. Oh. Outrageous, isn't it? I can't feel my face. We'll get some hardware in there and get them hung. Wow. They're amazing, aren't they? The color is amazing. Yes, are you guys gonna get them on the little rolly rolls? Yeah? Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow, right on. There it goes, guys. Oh my goodness. Who's gonna get the first roll? <laughs> Got some adjustments to do? Got yep. some adjustments. Woo! Just leave it right there, Bri. That's where it's gonna set. Oh, gorgeous, huh? Nice. Good job, everybody. It looks great. It's awesome, Dad. It's beautiful. Is that what it. you were thinking, Bri? Oh, yeah. I love it. I love the black. Oh, brackets? brackets? Yeah, yep. I didn't that either. I we'll have to put the little rollers at the bottom. Okay, that could be for next week. Got... Looks like we're gonna need to put some rollers on the bottom of it, so we'll get going on that for next week. And then also, Bryson has been working on some 3D printed handles that he's gonna cast. I am so pleased with these. We had played with a lot of different ideas before we settled on these. So I'm very pleased with how the color of the epoxy came out. Very vibrant and really fun. Lots of texture. So I'm not so sure we thought this through very well because, I mean, assuming that we're going to have more grandchildren in the future, now we kind of set precedence. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Every great kid gets sore. What you wearing there? But that was with the What well, you got, Azalea? Yeah. This is the big picture. Break the mold? Look at so that. Yeah. Our, our t-shirt design of the week. Break, break the mold. <laughs> if you'd like to get this breaking the mold design on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, all kinds of fabulous products that we have over on our merch shop, you can check out the link down in the description. We now have visuals for the podcast. We have been getting a lot of feedback and requests to add visuals to our podcast. We finally were able to do that. We have a webcam on there. If you have missed that, be sure to go check it out and it'll get better and better as the weeks go by. I've got some ideas for that. We had said that there was going to be an aquaponics update that would come out on our Wednesday video for last week, but we were unable to complete it. But our plan is to get that aquaponics out to you on Wednesday. So that'll be a new video. Thanks for being a part of our family. And we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for the podcast. Bye. family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. How long is it? Is it Yui time? He's getting tusks. Can I show off your tusks? Can I? Oh, there, I feel them.